Hello dear friends, this is Joel Humphreys. I'm glad to be here and share with you a word today from the Word of God. And I want to share to you the fact that we need to put off the old man and put on the new. Put off the old man and put on the new man. And it is scripture found in the book of Colossians in the third chapter. I bring this ten minute message. I pray that it will bless your heart and guide you in your life. Bible says in verse 9 through 11 in the uh, third chapter of Colossians, Lie not one to another, seeing you have put off the old man with his deeds, and, <clears throat> and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge and in the image of him who created him. Where there is neither Greek, nor circumcision, nor Jew, nor barbarian, nor slave, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. I want us to see here how we're to put off the old man. Number one, line out one to another, saying you put off the old man. The old man is the old sinful nature that we have and born with. We were born in this world with a sinful nature. And that nature has to be eliminated. And the only way it can be eliminated is by the grace of God. He's the only one that can save us and change us and make us over and give us a new new birth and a new nature and become a, a new man. Bible says in, in uh, over in uh, Ephesians in the second chapter verses eight through ten, for he <clears throat> for we are saved through faith and not of not of ourselves. We are saved by grace through faith and not our, not of ourselves. It's the gift of God. You see, we're saved by the grace of God. That means we're saved not because of something we have done or deserve, but because what God has done and what God has given. He wants you to become a Christian if you're not a Christian. You don't have to pay money. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to go so many times to a church house. You just have to bend your knee and say, Dear God, forgive me. Please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. Come in my heart. And holy God, help me live for you. When you pray a prayer like that, the Lord comes into your life and you become a new creature in Christ and old things have passed away. And you become a new creature. You put on the new man. So I want you to put off that old man. Now Christians, from time to time we allow the old man to get back in, that old self. And we have to cast him down. That old self. And we need to do that by denying self. Jesus said, if you really want to follow me, then you must deny yourself. Take up your cross every day and follow me. And that cross is self-denial. That cross is going God's way instead of your way. That cross is accepting what happens to you as God's plan for you and not what maybe you plan for, but you accept it. And you praise God and go on. Your heart may be broken, but it's blessed because God has said it in His truth and you're following Him and you're following truth. And so you put off the old man and you put on the new man. The new man which is created in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. And you have a new nature. You're changed. You become different. You don't become what you once were. <laughs> I like what somebody said that a happiness is... Uh, is is being is being able to spread spread happiness wherever you go, and uh, there are other people that spread happiness whenever they go. <laughs> so you want to be sure you're the one that spreads it wherever you go, and that's important. I want you to know that, to recognize that, and to seek the will of God for your life. Let Jesus be your strength and hope and help forever. He says here there is. For we are saved through faith, and not of ourselves, it's the gift of God. Let us, let us then know this is truth, and we can count on it. We can count on it as right, and God has said it. Over in the book of uh, Colossians, in the second chapter, in verse 6, it says, As you've received Christ Jesus, so walk in Him. So walk in Him. And so we need, as we receive Christ, you received Him by faith, you need to walk by faith. You received Him humbly, without money and without price, and you need to live humbly with Him. You need to believe as you did when you received Him. Believe every day in Him as you live today for Christ. 
And when you received him, you put him first in your life. And now you need to put him first every day you live. Put him first and let him live in your life and let him be to you your strength, your song. And then it says, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, but nor slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Christ is all and in all. That's the essence of Christianity. Christ is all and in all. It is not Christ plus something else, but Christ is all. Christ is all you need, my dear friend. It's all, he's all you need to be forgiven. He's all you need to have your name written in heaven. He's all you need to be able to overcome that problem in your life today. He's always there and He's going to help you get through it. And you don't know how in the world it's going to come about, but He knows. So quit trying to figure it all out yourself and turn it over to Him. And let Him live in your life and let Him love you and serve you as you serve Him. And so be sure and stay close to the Lord. Oh, try to get close as you can to Him. As you receive Him, so walk in Him. And let Christ be all in all to you. All in all. He is all you need. He's all you need. When that paratrooper leaps out of an airplane, there's one thing positively more important than anything else in this world that he needs, and that's that parachute. If he's forgotten his parachute, he's in real trouble. He may have his boots shined and his metal zone and his knapsack and his rifle and his helmet and everything in place. But if he don't have that parachute on, he has nothing. He's gone. That parachute is all in all when he jumps out from that plane to pull that car and let that thing open and bring him down safe. So Jesus Christ is your parachute. We're all paratroopers. We all have to jump. And Jesus is the parachute. And so he's all in all. He's all in all for you. He's all in all for me. And I want you to know that and believe that and trust him there. Jesus is all the world to me. My joy, my life, my all. I go to him and find in him that he's my all in all. When I am sad to him I go. No other one can cheer me so. When I am sad, he makes me glad, he's my friend. Oh, dear friends, he wants to be your friend. He loves you very much. He knows what you're going through, and he wants to go through with you. He wants to be all in all in your life. So open your heart to him right now and say, Lord, forgive me that I have put other things before you that I put myself before you and I've tried to figure out all these things without asking you for help. Forgive me. Go to him, my dear friend. Ask him for help. Ask him to give you grace to turn it all over to him when you don't know the answer. And give it to him and leave it with him and let him show you the way when there seems to be no way. And let him be your guide and guardian of your soul. Let him be your all in all. Jesus is all the world to me. Oh, he's all the world to me. I want him to be all the world to you. And God will bless you. And God will give you strength and power with God and men. May the hand of the Lord be with you. Put off that old man. That old evil selfish nature. Put it off. Put it under your feet. Ask God to forgive you and help you to forget it. And then put on that new man every morning, every day. Put on the new man all, all the time during the day. Put on the new man. That is a new nature, a new spirit that God has given you. A spirit of self-denial. A spirit of commitment to Christ. A spirit of God in you, the hope of glory. And to walk humbly, faithfully, depending on God. Instead of yourself or others. Let the Lord be your strength today. Let Christ be your all in all. Put off the old man. Put on the new man and dress up for the Lord. Thank you.